Now, new tonight, leaders in Livonia meet to discuss ways to reduce or control wildlife in Wayne County. So people there want answers after seeing several deer wandering the streets. Pamela Osborne joins us live. Pamela, they simply want something to be done here. Kimberly, we're joining you from Bicentennial Park, a place where you would expect to see deer within minutes of arriving. We saw several, but that's not the issue. The problem is residents are saying entire herds of deer have moved into their neighborhoods and onto their properties, creating a whole host of other issues. We heard from people tonight who say they won't let their kids or their grandkids outside, not even their pets for fear of some kind of confrontation here and also for fear of the ticks and and other diseases that could come along with their presence. They're asking the city for help. It's so out of control that the city has to do something. One by one, uh, Livonia residents voice their concerns to city leaders about a population growth of a different kind. I see deer every single day. We've had as many as 14 come through our yard. I love the deer. I fear their population. Residents were more than happy to share their deer sightings with us. These pictures and videos prove what a recent survey confirmed. Residents have been seeing a significant increase in deer activity, not just in the usual spaces, but their spaces, front lawns, backyards, and yeah, even face-to-face -face encounters. The deer are not afraid of people anymore. They come right up to our house. That lack of fear has created a host of other safety concerns council members gathered to discuss Monday night. We've had an increasing number of deer vehicle collisions and uh, there's a lot of concern, of course, about uh, tick-borne diseases that are carried by deer. Many residents described counting as many as 10 or more deer at a time. Others uh, described groups of bucks living day. right alongside them. Um, they used to be just at night and then in the morning, but now they're, they're there all the time. Council did not vote, but did discuss options, most notably a call that not everybody was in favor of. Um, I do not want anybody to be killed in my city including the deer. I agree with a lot of the other people who've spoken. Culling isn't the answer. It doesn't work. I think that uh, we should leave things as they are. Council listened to everything that those residents had to say, and here's what's going to happen next. On July 10th, there's going to be another meeting. This time, they hope to bring in some folks from the Department of Natural Resources, experts in wildlife to help advise them and help them come up with a solution that they can all agree on moving forward. For now, reporting live in Livonia, I'm Pamela Osborne, Local 4. Yeah, okay, Pamela, thank you.